Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus Today 22nd of May 2020 Friday in the 6th week of Easter The gospel passage is taken from the Gospel of St John chapter 16 verses 20 to 23 Anxiety and anguish are very commonly felt emotions in life everyone experience anxiety or anguish in different levels in their everyday life there are also moments in our life we feel heavy attack of anxiety due to the death of someone close to us or unexpected happenings in life an experience of anxiety or anguish in your life does it mean that you are not in god's grace does it mean that god has left you or does it mean that you are doing something wrong certainly not in fact what we have to do is to look at the life of jesus to see this is not the case he was in constant anguish throughout his earthly life as he continually entered more deeply into the mission of his father just prior to his public ministry he was in anguish for 40 days in the desert throughout his public ministry jesus experienced the anguish about his earthly life he experienced the criticism of others misunderstanding ridicule rejection harsh treatment so much more in the end as we know he was crucified our blessed mother had a sword of sorrow pierced her heart she was misunderstood and ridiculed from the beginning as a result of her mysterious pregnancy out of wedlock she carried a perfect love of her son and anguished over his future as he grew she watched many love him and others harass him she watched his mockery of a trial and his crucifixion but think of their lives now they now reign from heaven as the glorious queen of all saints and kings of the universe they live in glory now for eternity their anguish has turned into perfect joy the very example jesus says about the woman in her labor pain new life brought to this world when a woman suffers the severest pain possible in this life that is to give birth the intensity of the pain of labor is more than compensated by the birth of new life nothing really gets in the existence without passing through great suffering to enter into new life jesus suffered most shameful death a death on the cross reflect today upon your own trials in life the scripture passage above reveals the promise that god makes to those who enter them with faith if you feel as though you have been dealt an unfair hand or have been treated unfairly you are in good company with the lord and i pray may almighty god bless you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.